Why are they so anal about not taking photos of US embassists, Pentagon, etc., even though there are pictures of them all over Google? There's been cases in the past of people snapping normal tourist photos, only for them to unknowingly capture pictures people who are thought to be elsewhere for safety reasons. Or also of people using normal photos videos online to track others and make note of discrepancies in schedules. Basically, why encourage behaviors that may or may not have consequences or give aid to people looking for anything they can to use against their perceived enemies? They can control what is in the official ones. You are thinking about classified documents, but the real danger is picturing people cars. That gives identifying information to anyone with access to the internet. Especially with facial recognition software. I've seen plenty of people taking pictures outside of the Pentagon on tours and whatnot, just not the inside. The Pentagon is easily seen from different vantage points across Arlington, Arlington Cemetery, and the AF Memorial. Same with the embassies in DC. Can't speak on how they are treated in other countries. Accidentally driving into the Pentagon parking lot at night because you exited the Highway 1 exit too soon? Prepare to be swarmed and questioned heavily by federal officers. That shit is not fun. Why make life any easier for spies? Because terrorists often case a place they are going to attack to assess weaknesses. I've been harassed by private security for taking photos in the general area of their hotel business park. There is a wealth of information you can collect with photo surveillance over time. Any single bit might not be valuable, but put thousands of bits all together like a puzzle and you get a pretty good picture. It's not dumb. I don't want people with bad intentions knowing all the details of the Pentagon campus. Why would anyone advertise where all their exit and entry points are? Or where all their cameras are? That's just asking for trouble. The images Google shows can be filtered to edit out people or identifiable vehicles or whatever. People with personal cameras may unknowingly post something the government doesn't want publicized for reasons. It's true of all government buildings, not just the US. Before engaging in shenanigans it is smart to observe the place you are going to hit. It's an excuse to interview someone and decide if they are a problem. I was an employee of the Department of Veterans Affairs and took a picture of the building on a beautiful day from outside. Within a minute a police officer approached me and asked what I was doing and said stop. People take picture of embassies all the time. It's not prohibited.